subscribe and also be sure to follow me on Instagram that's my favorite social media site and I feel like I just get to like interact with you guys a little bit more so definitely make sure you guys follow me on there anyways for today's video I am going to be sharing my tips and tricks for traveling I absolutely love traveling for spring break I went to Europe for 10 days and then in a couple days I'm actually heading down to Florida so I'm pretty familiar with you know purchasing flights and I am a college student, so I'm very frugal with my money, and I love to find, you know, cheap flights, good deals. Um, so I felt like I would just kind of share my tips and tricks that I have learned so far. Okay, so the first one is to use a website called Kayak. This basically just shows you what the cheapest flight options are. Um, so my mom and I flew to Paris from CVG, which is in, like, northern Kentucky, um, and we found flights for about $350 each round trip. Now, we had to pay for a bag, of course, the cheaper airlines, they make you pay for literally everything, um, but still, $450 round trip from, you know, my city to Paris is a pretty dang good deal. And we did fly Wow Air, which has gotten not the best reviews, we were kind of a little adamant about booking them. But we're like, we can't beat the price. We want to see, you know, if it is a good company, um, if we can use them in the future, whatnot. We had a great experience with them. Um, the flight attendants, the pilots, they were all super, super nice. The planes were nice and new. Um, it was just like a really good experience, especially for the money. Now, there's nothing fancy. They have phone chargers and you can recline your seat a little bit. That's about it. Like, there's no screens or anything like that. Um, I mean, yeah, they make you pay for drinks, food, literally everything. But um, if you really want to, you know, travel the world and do so in a cheaper way, I think that flying WOW is just a good option. But we did find that flight on Kayak, and um, I have actually been on there quite a lot recently. I would like to go to Iceland this summer, so I've been just kind of checking out some different dates, and I actually found a flight again with WOW. Their home base is actually in Iceland for about $200 round trip, so um, I'm planning on going there this summer, hopefully. Um, but it's just a good website because it lets you see, you know, there's WOW, there's United, Delta, um, a bunch of different airlines, and it just shows you all the different prices. And obviously you can change the dates, you can change, um, you know, maybe you want to fly into Paris, but there's two different airports, so you can pick both, and maybe one is cheaper than the other, and stuff like that. So it just lets you kind of compare and contrast, which I think is a really good, um, just like useful tool to have when booking flights. Now, if you live in the United States and you want to fly somewhere within the United States, then I would recommend Allegiant. That's who I am flying to Florida with. Um, I booked a flight for $80 round trip, so it was super, super cheap. I did add on a bag, which I think was $40, um, so $20 each way, but still $120 for a round trip flight down to Florida. It's pretty affordable in my eyes. And then if you are in Europe, we flew EasyJet from Paris to Venice and had a great experience with them as well. Um, again, there are absolutely no frills, but I think our flight was around $50 round trip, so it's just a good deal if you're willing to kind of sacrifice all of the frills and comfort um, for a cheaper option, then that's the way to go. So my next tip is to bring a carry-on. Um, this is what my mom and I did for Europe and then I'm also doing for Florida. One, it's cheaper to, um, you know, if you have to purchase bags, it's cheaper. Plus you get to bring it on the plane with you so there's less of a chance of losing it because it's essentially in your sight the whole time. So the carry-on that I'm taking to Florida is by Kenneth Cole. Um, it's called The Reaction and it's from the Renegade collection so it's just black which I like, nice, simple, sleek. So if you're interested in purchasing this one, I do have a link in the description box, um, but it's just really nice. I'm super excited to travel with this because 
Um, for Europe, actually, my suitcase didn't have like the eight wheel any direction, so I was like just dragging it and it kept like twisting and stuff. And I, you can ask my mom, I it just made me so irritated, I was so annoyed. Um, so I'm really excited because these are like I forget what they call it. Um, oh, it's an eight wheel spinner construction, so it lets you like kind of move it any way, and it's just like makes traveling so much easier. Okay, my next tip is to pack light, and if you are bringing a carry on you kind of have to pack light <laughs> um, and I would recommend packing like lighter clothes but also not as many so I am a classic overpacker I pack a bunch of different stuff and I'm like oh this will be cute this will be cute and then I wear like maybe half of the stuff that I packed so it's just like a waste of space so one way to pack light I think is to bring two pairs of shoes for example in Europe I packed a pair of sneakers Adidas sneakers which are kind of bulky um, but I packed those and then I had this pair of fit flop sneakers that were like super small and compressible so just packed both of those I think that you know if you step in a puddle or if it rains and they get wet then you have another pair to wear um, while the other ones dry out but I think that like three four pairs of shoes could be a little bit excessive unless it's obviously like summer and you're bringing three pairs of sandals well those all squish together you know pretty tightly so kind of depends on what kind of shoes you're bringing but I think two is like a good um, amount also if you guys are wondering what shoes I was wearing in the intro they were these they're so freaking cute they're from Kenneth Cole um, and they just have little silver and gold stars all around them. They're super, super comfortable. These are like the kind of shoes that I like to bring on trips because they're comfortable, I can walk a lot in them, and they're still stylish. And I'll have a link for these in the description box if you guys want to check them out. Another way to pack light is to bring a bunch of different clothing items that kind of mix and match well together. Also with a carry-on, your cosmetics um, have to be, you know, travel size. I think it's like... 0.3 ounces or something that might be way off but it's pretty small I actually have this right here so this um, is actually where I kept my foundation when I went to Europe I also had another one for my lotion and then I just bought travel size like shampoo conditioner and body wash at Target for super cheap another one is to roll your clothes um, I never did this I would just you know like regular fold them and stick them in there but I started rolling them and I was like oh my gosh like there's so much more room and you can squish them all together and it's just easier to kind of like arrange and organize all your stuff in the suitcase Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my on-flight tips. So my first one, I feel like I keep bringing up my trip to Europe, but since the uh, plane was so simple, there were no screens or like anything, so I had to entertain myself. Um, so I think bringing a good book is really important. You're not necessarily going to have time to read it like if you're traveling Europe but you know if you're going to the beach then you know that's like my favorite thing to do is just sit on the beach or by the pool sun tanning reading a good book so definitely make sure you bring a book to keep you you know kind of entertained on the flight also with like Netflix and Amazon Prime you can download a bunch of different things so I downloaded you know a couple movies some TV shows that I was watching and so I would just watch those on the plane okay my next tip is to bring food and water for the flight I get so hungry on airplanes just because I'm so bored um, so I would you know pack food in my carry-on um, that way I would have it for the flight I would uh, try to avoid <laughs> purchasing food at the airport because they jack those prices way up it's almost like double I think um, so yeah just slip like a bag of chips or some candy or something in your carry-on that way you won't be tempted to spend money at the airport and then as for water I would just bring an empty bottle um, whether it's you know like reusable or just a plastic one I would just bring a bottle of water because obviously it has to be empty for security but if you stick it in your backpack you can fill it up there's water fountains all over the airport um, because you know flying up in the sky definitely does dehydrate you so just making sure that you have water you're gonna stay hydrated um, that's super important while traveling and my last tip is to journal this is something that I have always loved I have so many journals 
from my childhood and just growing up um, and I still try to journal regularly but make a journal specifically for your travel adventures um, my mom got this one for me for my birthday I believe and it says not all who wander are lost it's one of our favorite quotes um, it's just a really nice leather journal and then you can see here that I have a bunch of different writing um, I wrote this on the plane back to the United States from Europe but you know I mark the days and I say what we did and what my favorite part was and what we ate and all that different fun stuff so it's just it's so much fun to go back and like relive all of those memories along with your pictures. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it kind of helps you with your traveling and adventure plans. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in a comment down below. Again, be sure to follow me on Instagram and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!